Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day you're watching today. Sasha here, and folks, today is day 30 in the month of hot tea celebration, y'all. Oh my goodness. So yeah, day 30, we're pretty much at the finish line, y'all, and I... I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. Oh, so sad. But, um, still all good things must come to an end. That will be for tomorrow. I'll save that speech for tomorrow. Because it is a quarter after eight. And like yesterday, I gotta get to moving. So, the tea for today, y'all, is strawberry vanilla rooibos tea. And it's cute that um, this tea in particular is called the Little Citizen's Herb Tea. And, it, you know, it's made with uh, children in mind. And it benefits um, Room to Read, which is, um, you know, helping children throughout the world, you know, gain access to books and better education, which I'm all for. So, folks, let's see what this says. And it's got all these cute little animal characters, even though um, a panda's kind of out of place. But, eh, who's really checking for accuracy? So, yeah, it just it doesn't say anything on the front from what I said. But in the back, it's got a cute little story. Okay, so it says, starting his trek in the bushlands of South Africa, Bamboo the Panda brings piles of books to his new friends. Raza the Lion shares a pot of tea made with organic rooibos, an herb that he picked from that, that he picked in the Cedarburg Mountains. This yummy tea is blended with strawberries and vanilla. Great, hot or iced? Well, Republic of Tea, I would like to try it iced, but... It ain't the time for that. So it says, each tin sold benefits room to read, educating the world's children, sip by sip. And you can go to their website, www.room to read. The two is the letter T, or the word T-O, um, dot org. So instructions are as follows. Brew tea bag for five to seven minutes using boiling water. Got the water uh, ready to go. For a free catalog, of course, you um, don't know if, I think it's just limited to um, U.S. citizens, but you could dial their 1-800 number, which is 1-800-298-4-T-E-A, or alternatively, and how I enrolled is you can go on their website, which is www.republicoftea.com and sign up there. Once you're um, signed up and ready to go, you'll get next month's uh, free catalog with free tea samples. So ingredients are as follows. Organic, fair trade certified rooibos, natural and strawberry, natural strawberry and vanilla flavors. That's it. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And, um... Of course, I didn't get the tea. This is a part of my custom 24-piece gift pack in which I want to try out a whole bunch of tea. So, this is um, one of the flavors along with the pomegranate vanilla flavor. So, I have high hopes for this one, y'all. Let's get a, a good sniff. Yeah. So... Definitely get the strawberry. The vanilla is going to be a little bit harder to discern because strawberry is such a domineering flavor. Or any berry for that matter. So two tea bags because why not? And folks, I will be right back after the tea is done steeping and ready to be sipped in front of you all. So don't go anywhere. Alrighty folks, and I'm back with a nice hot cup of tea and you know the weather is kind of looking crap right now so 
Glad I have this. So, folks, when I... I don't even have to bring my face close, but the scent of strawberries is running wild with this. And I do get the nice rounded off hint of vanilla because it doesn't smell like, you know, tart ripe berries the whole way. <sighs> so, folks, funny thing, though, I had to, like, unfortunately, I let the water that I had in my pot, um boil for a little too long and I was a short of a cup but because like right now they're doing um the grab and go breakfast I usually just get my um hot water like uh I used to get uh some banana nut muffins but no longer and um they have granola oatmeal tea hence the that one time in Big Low Week where I did the Ceylon tea, that's what they have. Um, both locations, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, just walked down to the front area and grabbed some additional hot water to make a full cup. So, ooh, everything worked out. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all. So, here we go. This is Strawberry Vanilla Rooibos Tea. Courtesy of Republic of Tea, uh, benefiting the little citizens of the world, which I uh, like. But yeah, let's hope this tea tastes as good as their intentions. Cheers, y'all. Unsweetened, by the way. Cheers. So, of course, Roy Boss has its... Um, uniquely characteristic flavors like it's earthy it's pretty well I wouldn't want to say robust but it's definitely earthy definitely like you could tell you're drinking a Roy Boss tea it has that unique flavor profile but the strawberry and vanilla both kind of come in as a afterthought <laughs> but I mean they're both still there it isn't like the pomegranate one in which, well, the pomegranate kind of dominated because it was so, um, like, tart. So, mm. Now, folks, I took a really big sip, so the tea wasn't super, super hot, thankfully, but still kind of hot. So, folks, now we're going to do the honor of sweetening this tea. You know, have to do it to them. Little squirt. Put that off to the side. Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. See if I can make it in the... Ooh, I don't want to be dripping all over myself. Yeah, I made it in the trash can or the trash bag. Which is just like my Prime or my Amazon Fresh order bag. Like I reuse those for trash bags. But yeah, here we go, folks. This is, again, Strawberry Vanilla Roy Boss Tea from Republic of Tea. This time sweetened with a splash of stevia. Cheers, y'all. So, sweetening this brings out the strawberry and vanilla more. Uh, I would say vanilla over strawberry. But still, strawberry has enough staying power to which I can taste both, you know, just fine. So, yeah. I mean, sweetening this, if you don't really care for the taste of Roy Boss, then you know, definitely uh, take a rain check if, you know, need be. And, um, what I want to say, y'all? Um, yeah, let's just go on right to the verdict. Yeah, because I gotta skedaddle again. <laughs> so, in the case of Republic of Teas, Little Citizen's Herb Tea, which I think is such a cute name. Strawberry Vanilla Flavor of Roy Boss Tea. 
out of my rating scale of good, okay, bad, first, unsweetened. Um, unsweetened, I would give a good. It's still good. Like, um, I do like the taste of Roy Boss. And I like the fact that it's pretty much the caffeine-free green tea as um, netted by... Oh, I forgot who said that. Oh, darn it. I think it was Republic of Tea. Yeah, it was a Republic of Tea. It might have been the pomegranate vanilla flavor. Yeah, I have such... <laughs> like, I have an okay memory. Like, I can recall what was said, but not when it was said. So, eh. But yeah, I do like the taste of Roy Boss. Fun fact though, I actually like the taste of green Roy Boss over red Roy Boss, but both are still good. It's just I prefer green. And um what else was I going to say? Yeah, because it's natural flavoring, it like when you taste like if something has explosion of flavor, Nine times out of ten, it's probably artificial flavoring. But understand, like, you know, when you use, like, actual natural flavoring, it can be masked by whatever you're doing. You know, if you're using strawberries from the stores. I think they should have used strawberry pieces, like dried strawberry pieces. That is a thing to make the strawberries come out. And then, um... The vanilla flavoring's fine because it's just vanilla. I mean, I don't expect vanilla bean flex and all that because, like, you know, if this was made in children with children in mind, they probably, you know, you want them to just taste the tea rather than the tea and all these flavors and their taste buds are still developing. So I can get that. Now, when it comes to strawberry vanilla sweetened um, with the helping of your choice of sweetener, of course, mine was stevia out of my rating scale of good, okay, bad. I would give it a good as well. Um, I would, like, this, along with the pomegranate vanilla tea, uh, I would want to try it iced over hot, you know. I just don't really, y'all, I, a lot of these teas that I had hot, I want to try iced, you know, but still hot tea has its, um, value, it's really good, it, the cold months, which we still kind of are in, but yeah, I would really like to have tried this tea iced, but you know, hot, if it's good hot, it's definitely going to be good iced. That's my thoughts and opinions going in on this. And, um, yeah, I mean, is this tea great for little ones? Of course it is. Um, and you can sweeten it up and make it like a juice substitute. Like, yeah, of course. Um, I mean, this tea hot, however, like, I don't know. If, the, if kids not, like, how to, like, enjoy... If they can see the value in, you know, having hot tea. But really, a lot of the teas, like, I would make for my kids would be iced tea to, like, trick them into thinking it's juice or something. But it's not. But, yeah, that's pretty much uh, my thoughts on this tea. Would I get a full canister? Yes, I actually would. I, I still would because I want to try this tea iced. And, um... You know, there's some other cute stuff you can do with this tea that I wouldn't mind experimenting on. It makes a good soda, a tea pop, soda substitute, um, juice substitute, probably a good smoothie base if you, you know, infuse tea into your smoothies. So yeah, I would definitely, like, hands down get a tin of this, a full, I believe it's 36 when it's Roy Boss. If it's not black tea or something else, it's 36 to a canister. But for black tea, it's 50 to a canister. It's just how it is, folks. But all right, that is going to do it for day 30, y'all. I want to thank you all very much for watching. Really appreciate it. 
any questions, comments, suggestions, or small talk, don't be a stranger. Leave it in the comment section below. Any and all are welcome. Greatly appreciated. Love to hear your thoughts and opinions on, um, you know, trying teas. Uh, question for you all. If you have kids or, you know, if you know of any kids in your family, um, are they or have they been exposed to tea, uh, being a tea drinker at a young age? I was not. Like, it was like during high school, which I kind of got into tea. But um, I, w I would like to, you know, introduce my kids, like when I have them. I would like to introduce them to drinking tea and, you know, w stay off juice, these high sugary juices and these ungodly concocted sodas, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather just make everything um uh, at home so yeah that's another thing to stopping this like really unhealthy trend here in america is just you know train them while they're young and give them good food good nutritious wholesome food rather than like fast food yeah i wish i wish it were like what i just said um for me but that's not how it was like but that is another story. I don't want to delve too deep into a topic and I got to be on the road in like four minutes. So take care. Take it easy. Make it a great day today and every day, folks. Um, Thirsty Thursday is coming up shortly after this. I just have to edit both videos. I pre-recorded Thirsty Thursday, but I didn't have time to edit it um, in time. So there. Yeah. We're just stuck with um, editing up, editing it and uploading them in succession. And I hate the fact that I now I'm falling asleep a whole lot earlier when I don't mean to, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, because Wellness Wednesday got uploaded earlier today because I forgot to press upload when it was like 11... 58 or something at night my time so I just totally forgot and fell asleep thinking I uploaded the video in time but I didn't <sighs> I'm getting disappointed in myself y'all but it is what it is um so yeah see you next video shortly after and then we will conclude with the month of hot tea celebration tomorrow. Alrighty, y'all. So until that time, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye now.